Two reports were issued in 2015 alerting lawmakers about a growing concern at DOE sites nationwide. The topic? Excess contaminated facilities and the risks they pose to present-day missions. Today, the Y-12 National Security Complex and Oak Ridge National Laboratory are known for their global impact in national security and scientific research. However, what may go unnoticed are more than 200 excess contaminated facilities at those sites that can threaten those activities. These facilities do not serve current day missions and many have been vacant for decades. They have fallen into disrepair and pose a wide range of structural, chemical and nuclear hazards. As you can see from the facility behind me, which is the biology uh, complex, that operated here at Y-12 up until their uh, 70s, they're in pretty bad shape. So what we want to do is get rid of these hazards in these buildings. It'll be an opportunity for programs to come in behind to build new facilities here and grow their programs. The reports to Congress noted that DOE did not have near-term plans to deactivate or demolish many of these facilities due to limited funding and competing cleanup priorities. They went on to highlight Oak Ridge as the site with the most higher risk excess contaminated facilities, with nearly a quarter of all the department's total inventory. Congress responded by providing additional funding to begin addressing these facilities in fiscal year 2016. This funding has allowed Oak Ridge's environmental management program to begin risk reduction and demolition projects years ahead of schedule. One of our guiding principles at, in Oak Ridge is that we remain investment worthy. To that end, over the past several years, we have made quite a bit of progress. We deliver more than a dollar's worth of work for every federal dollar we get. Uh, that gives Congress the confidence in Oak Ridge and the justification to continue to fund us so that we can continue to make great progress at these sites and continue to make these sites available for future missions. Since the funding for this initiative began, Oak Ridge's environmental management program has already improved safety at Y-12 and the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, and more projects are on the horizon. So far, funds have helped repair a roof to prevent structural deterioration at one of the largest remaining buildings, prevented thousands of pounds of mercury from entering the environment, removed asbestos, protected against the spread of contamination in high-density work areas, and demolished two higher-risk facilities. We're thankful that Congress has given us this funding. We certainly get a lot of support out of our appropriators and this administration. We've been able to make great progress due to the funding they have given us. We continue to look forward to get additional funding so that we can continue to make progress into the future and reduce risks at these two sites and then allow these two sites to come in behind us and grow their missions.